Welcome to Light Over Heat with Professor David Yamani. This week, let's talk about the very important issue of gun safety. It seems to me that gun safety is something that people on all sides of the great gun debates in America can agree on. I don't know about you, but I don't know any groups or organizations that are in favor of the criminal or unintentional use of firearms to harm people. That said, it doesn't mean that everybody means the same thing when they use the term gun safety. I like to suggest that there are actually two views of gun safety, one that emphasizes safety with guns and one that emphasizes safety from guns. People inside the gun culture typically emphasize safety with guns. I've written a few things down here so I don't forget any, but I think, for example, of the National Rifle Association, their hunter safety education programs, their first shots programs. I'm a NRA certified range safety officer, something that's a very important part of safety with guns. And in fact, as an aside, one of the biggest problems with what's going on in the NRA currently is the fact that they're spending far more on legal fees than they are spending on safety and training efforts. We can also look to the National Shooting Sports Foundation and their Child Safe Program, also the Own It, Respect It, and Secure It initiative. When I think of all of the many hundreds of hours that I've spent in the civilian gun training community, I think about the strong emphasis on safety, both before and during any classes that are offered, and also the basic rules of safe gun handling that are promulgated by that community and also debated so that we can have the best possible understanding of what it means to safely use or safely work with guns. And there are also many, many, many smaller groups than the NRA and the NSSF that are doing great work around gun safety. I think of Derek LeBlanc's Kids Safe Foundation and Michael Sodini's Walk the Talk America and Sarah Joy Albrecht's Hold My Guns. All of these things emphasize a particular view of gun safety, which is safety with guns. Now on the other side, we have uh, gun control or gun violence prevention organizations who've actually adopted the hashtag gun safety mantle. But I think really what they mean when they talk about gun safety is safety from guns. So for example, public health research that views guns as a risk factor for death or injury, the only way that you can truly reduce that risk is to get yourself away from that mechanism of injury. No rational person would have something that is a risk to their and their loved one's health and safety around. I also think about Igor Volsky and his Guns Down America project, which truly sees fewer guns as the only path to gun safety. And even when I went to DC recently to guest lecture in a guns class in the Stanford and Washington program, the class was great. The students were well prepared. The faculty running the class were very welcoming and we had a really great conversation, but underlying their sense of gun safety truly was a sense that we needed to be safe from guns, not safe with guns. Both of the faculty leading that course are uh, in part of the leadership of a group called Scrubs Addressing the Firearm Epidemic. And I think the language is significant. The fact that it's not a firearms violence ep epidemic or anything of the sort, that the epidemic that needs to be addressed in that perspective is the firearms themselves. So the only true safety is safety from guns. Now, a big interest of mine in promoting light over heat is a search for common ground where possible. So also when I was in DC, I went to visit the folks at Brady United, and we had a very interesting conversation 
among other things, about safe storage. And I'm very curious about the idea of safe storage as a potential common ground for people who have different views of gun safety. So I'm going to talk next week about the idea of safe storage.